Hi, this may not be my best movie, but here we go. Uh, you're to make four academic questions at least, you know, put 30 minutes into this. One for math, one for science, social studies, and one for English. That can interactively, interactively inform the user of an incorrect or correct answer using conditional formatting. See math 01 for an example, and I'll walk you through this. So I went out and got, I was going to do an area and perimeter question for math. And I found this image on the internet, and I provided the URL here. I did change this number to 24 feet. I think it was like 23 and 3 inches. I just wanted to do a whole number. And I'm asking the user, well, what's the area of this image, and what's the perimeter of this home? This is probably an apartment. And what you have to do is put the correct answer here. And it should turn green if it's the right answer. And here's how you make that happen. Now, I set this up. You said, hey, area, square feet. And I put a little couple of lines and an arrow going this way so they know to put the answer here. Okay? And I've made them both gray for the heck of it. So what's the area? Well, that's 40 times 24. And so you have to do figure out that. And one way you could do that is just say, hey, what is 40 times 24? And it's 960 square feet. Okay, now as I'm developing this, I might come over here and say, okay, the, the real answer is 960. And then perimeter is just add up all the sides, and they give you the label of uh, the length and the width, so you just have, kind of have to double that. So 24 plus 24 and 40 plus 40. Okay, well, 40 plus 40 is 80, and 24 plus 24 is 48, so it's 128 uh, feet in perimeter. So what you do is you come here and we're going to conditional format this and the way you do that is you go under format menu once that cell's highlighted go to format conditional formatting and you'll get this uh, label here and I already have one so I'm just going to say here's what I'm going to do all right so what you do is say hey this is affecting cell F19 and as long as the cell contains exactly what I'm looking for in terms of numbers, I'll mark it correct. So I'm going to choose this one under the format rules. I'm going to say, hey, if text is exactly. And uh, the value of formula I'm looking for in this one is 960. So I'll type 960 here. And what I'm going to do is turn the cell uh, background a line green, saying, hey, you're right. Okay. So I hit done. And so now uh, there's a rule there for. Uh, F19, if I need to look at it, I can reopen it, okay? And, of course, the user will not see this, all right? And I can get rid of this. I don't want them to see that. And so they figure out what the area is, and they go, oh, I think it's 960 square feet. And if they hit enter, it turns green, and that's what you want. So let's repeat that step here. I'll make this zero, or just make that empty so it turns back to gray. And the next one's 128. So I'll program F20 to turn green if they put in 128. So again, that's under format, conditional formatting. And there's a rule here. I already had it, so I'm sorry. Uh, when you do this, uh, I already had done this before. So I go to format, conditional formatting. This pops up, and I go, okay, the answer here is going to be text exactly again. And the answer on this one is 128 feet is the perimeter. And I'll make it turn lime green if they put that in. Hit done. And get rid of this. That was just to help me remember what the right answer was. And now if they come over here, and of course we have this closed, and they put in, well, you know, 40 plus 40 is 80, and 24 plus 24 is 48, so 80 plus 48 is 128. And if they get that, they come in here, Whoops, they got it right. It turns green. Now, if they just miss it by one, it won't work, okay? So that's how you set this up. Um, and you can keep adding tabs to do the other content areas. And that's the assignment. Try to have at least one for each one and put in 30 minutes worth of work on this. And this is the file that you'll turn in. So I'm going to delete this uh, slide here, excuse me, sheet. And I'm going to uh, remove these things and um, get the file back the way it was. And that's the assignment. Turn this in when you have uh, one for each content area or more.